Back on the at-home MSG 150, Bill Pito and Wally Zerbiak, Steve Alicat, and Alan Hahn. And big news here in the NFL, as they have ex- decided to extend the playoff situation next year, extra wild card team in each conference. So wild card weekend next year, you're going to have three wild card games on Saturday, three on Sunday. And Alan, of note to me, when you go back over the playoff format, which has been in place since 1990, there have been 58 different teams make the Super Bowl. 46 of the 58 got a first round bye. So only 12 teams have made the Super Bowl since 1990 without a first round bye. And in this new format, only the number one seed gets a first round bye. The two seed now going forward is going to have to play on wild card weekend. To me, that is the most significant piece of this. Yeah, it is. I also think what's significant is the fact that what you mentioned, you'd have football topia, a weekend, six games. They're all nationally televised games, three on Saturday, three on Sunday. Football fans would love it. What a way to kick off the football playoffs to have that kind of a weekend. It would be insane. And I know a lot of people think this year the wild card games actually were a lot of fun. Normally they're not. Sometimes they're with two teams and you're like, I don't care about either one of these teams. And now when you expand it, you might have a seven and nine team make the playoffs. And so you feel like they're not a very good team. But sometimes the ugliest games can have the best endings. So there's still it's football and people love to consume it. And it's only one more game. I don't think it really matters as far as some people that want to be traditionalists and feel like that's too many teams. It's still still more than half the league doesn't make the playoffs, which as I, you know, you guys know, NHL, NBA, you do have half the league make the team and, and make the playoffs. And I think that's important for all the markets, but it could be a lot of fun. But look, eight seeds hardly beat one seeds. And we know that happens in the NBA. It rarely does, but it, it can happen. I just think it opens it up to more markets. It keeps teams more competitive. And I also think it sets up to have a great wild card weekend type of setup where you basically wake up on Saturday, you sit on your couch, and you don't leave till Sunday night. It'd be a lot of fun. Guys, Alan, uh, I'm just making those points, but Valley and Wally, you got to be the number one seed, it seems like now. I mean, it's a huge edge to be the number one seed. Well, I'll, I'll well, tell you I'll what, tell you what last year, every number one seed lost. So we have parity in our sport now because of the hard salary cap, and I think that's the difference maker. But – Here's where I don't like it as an analyst. As a player, I don't think you think about it at all. You're always focused on your next game and preparing for that. But as an analyst, I don't like the fact the Rangers have 79 points right now in the Eastern Conference. And then in the Western Conference, the Nashville Predators have 78 points, and they're in the playoffs, and the Rangers are not. So I like the idea of doing a play-in, but this would also couple with the idea that the NHL playing 82 games at the intensity level that it is should really be a 75-game season and then maybe have a play in and a two out of three that gets a couple of the teams that are on the fringes that should be in on one conference are not because they're not playing in the other one that has some lower seeds getting in. But to Alan's point, it is neat the way the setup is in the NHL where half the teams are going to be in the playoffs, and that makes the regular season significant. I'm excited about this. We all love NFL football, and I think it's great to get more markets and make the regular season more relevant because we know – you know, every single week on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, we're getting into the NFL game. So I think it's a great idea. I hate the NFL buy system. To your point, Bill, 46 of the 58 teams that have had first round buys in the playoffs have made it to the Super Bowl. I don't like that. We don't have buys in the NBA. We don't have buys in the NHL. I'm glad they got rid of one of those buys. I I love the one against eight upsets. I love in the NCAA tournament when a two beats a, loses to a 15. That's the spirit of competition. And the beauty of the NFL is there's so much parity because it's one game. Mm-hmm. And that's the big thing. You can have an off game. You cannot play well. You can have a, a big injury in the first quarter that affects the rest of the game. I like the playoffs being played. I think it's too much of a reward to give teams a whole entire week off and give them buys in a whole round of the playoffs. I have never agreed with that system in the NFL. I like that they took one of those teams away. You got to go out there and earn it on the field, in my opinion, especially in the playoffs, in order to get to the Super Bowl. So I think the NFL made a good move. Um, I love the way the NBA is doing it. I I like the NBA idea of doing the 10-9 game and then the mm-hmm. eight against the seven game i think mm-hmm. adding two more teams into the mix just like major league baseball with the playing game it just adds more excitement to the regular season and that's what professional sports need they need more excitement to your point valley they need more eyeballs so the more our eyeballs you can keep engaged in all the markets 
the better. I love this for the NFL. Yeah, that's the biggest so part, right, history. Wally? Go ahead, Han. Go ahead. Sorry, Bill. You know, the, the biggest part, I think, is what Wally just said there, too, is we have to focus on that. Not as much in the NFL. I don't, you, don't, you don't see nearly as much tanking until maybe week 14, 15, when you're thinking about having a shot at number one or number two uh, draft pick, although the Giants had their chances and decided to keep winning, which is fine. That's what you want. You want teams to, to play to win. So while it's not an issue as much in the NFL, I do think it is in the NBA. And what Wally pointed out is one of the things that they've been kicking around for the NBA is a great idea that you keep more, more markets engaged and less, it's less about not making the playoffs and more about playing for something. And so I even think in the NBA, you could expand it to where the 10 seed and the nine seed still have a chance to play into the postseason if they stay close enough. And, and that's something they should kick around. I think the NHL, by the way, Valley, I think they've gotten it right. That is a really exciting way that they have it. You're in and out all season. It almost feels like what you do in November now really does matter when you get to April. Yeah. Look, I, I wonder about the NHL just lowering the regular season so the games feel a little bit more playoff-like. Agreed. In the regular season. It's too long. It's too yeah. long. And look, the players in the NBA, I hear all the time about load management. We don't do that in the NHL yet. Right. But, look, I mean, both of our sports need to keep things a little more competitive during the regular season. You can't have a pillow fight in the NHL where anybody's going to watch that and want to come back and see it again. Good point. One thing I would love to see is you guys are mentioning the possible expansion of the NBA. Maybe you have 10 against 9, play the winner against uh, 7 against 8. I would like to then see the next round not be a best of 7. The best NBA upsets that we've seen in history, have been, remember that first round used to be a best of five. Best of five. Yep. Why not make it a best of three? Oof. Sorry. Well, Pito. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> paid, Pito. You want to get paid? We can't lower the games. Valley, I completely agree. It'd be a better product if the NBA went for 75 or 72, but – that's that's ten that's seven or ten what games. If we, uh, have, what if we make those game. games up in a play-in? Absolutely. Yeah, I, make them, yeah. If you make them up in a play-in, for sure. But you don't have all thirty teams playing seven more games. It's a play-in between. Hey, who's going to? If you watch uh, Detroit this year, Wally or Ottawa, some of the teams that are at the bottom of the league in the NHL, nobody was watching them anyway. You know, yeah, and those, those are terrible games. Especially Wally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wally, why are hey, you always coming down to switch for you, man? This year than ever. I'm into it. Yeah, you, are... get into it. you turned into a Ranger fan this year, Wally. Got and the classic was... Knicks jersey shirt on there, Wally. What do you got going there? There you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Guys, uh, great to see you. Stay healthy. And I'll end the show with how I started the show. Stay out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Hey, get up. <laughs> All right. Be good, and uh, thanks for checking us out here. We'll see you soon. Be good, guys. You see know. you, boys. <laughs>